Courtney, congratulations. How does it feel to get your future sorted? Yeah, it feels good. It feels good. And um, I've been here for a few years now. I think four years in total. Just uh, literally signed a new three-year deal uh, at the club. So I'm happy. I'm happy that I've dedicated my future to the club. And has, it, has it been playing on your mind a bit? I mean, it, it would be natural for it to be in the background thinking, what am I going to do? Yeah, no. Like, if everyone knows I haven't played. I haven't played this season, which is personally been very frustrating for me but um, I understand that's football and the players that I've been playing have been doing well so I just have to be patient and hopefully my chance will come. Um, also there's still what seven massive games left of the season and you just never know um, when you're going to get called up on so I've got to obviously keep my head and you know be ready for be ready for it if I have to, if I have to step in at any time but um, you know I just I think you know Despite what's what's going on, I just think the, the answer is, is just to literally just work hard every day in training, and then wherever that takes me, it takes me. Yeah, I mean, it clearly, I mean, this this clearly shows that Nuno and the club still do have faith in you. That perhaps this is your year of of learning and and growing as a player and a person. Yeah, no, definitely. I haven't played, and obviously, everyone knows you. You learn, you learn more, and you develop more as a, as as a player when you actually play games. But I haven't played any games this season, and you know I've, I've still learnt a lot. I've, it's been a it's been a good learning curve for me. Um, and to be honest, it's just made me hungry. It's made me more hungry uh, for obviously there's still seven games left of this season. But it's just made me more hungry for for next season, and hopefully I can come back to pre-season. Um, fit and strong and ready to, 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 to give it a good a good go next season. Because I guess people probably don't realise that actually your pre-season was quite badly interrupted, wasn't it? You were yeah. away with England and, and then picked up a knock and yeah, it was, to start been later. Awful, yeah, it's been an awful pre-season and start to the season for myself. Um, you know, I was out for what, what, five months, so it killed me, it killed me a lot. But, you know, just have to be mentally strong and hopefully... Uh, Hopefully the next season or next pre-season, I'll, I'll have a better one and I can really give myself a chance to, to kick on and show show people what I know I can do. Um, you've been here a number of years now. Yeah. Signed as a teenager. Um, you didn't seem hugely different <laughs> when you first came in. Do you feel it? Have you changed? Um, yeah, I have. I feel as if I have, yeah. I've, I've developed more as a player. You know, I've had a few managers, so, you know, I've had to... You know, develop my game and, and get better and better. But um, it's quite fr it's quite frustrating really because uh, at the end of last season I had a mindset of you know really kicking on this season and obviously like so I got pre I got injured in pre season which kind of which kind of stopped that. But you know it's, it's football and I've got the same mindset for for next season. So hopefully I can you know really really kick on and, and, and do well for the club. Because when you think back to when you first came in, yeah. what were your ambitions at the time? When I first came in, my ambitions were to, you know, to to play to play for Wolves, to to do well and be successful with Wolves, and you know, just literally, yeah, just to work hard every day, um, and just to, just to see where it takes me, and hopefully, if you or if you work hard, then. Only good, only good's gonna come from that eventually. So that's all I'm, I'm, I'm doing, just staying focused and just ready for the challenges ahead. It's been eventful in these couple of years. You've had oh, yeah. quite a few managers. Yeah. Um, what's been your highlight so far? My highlight. It's been a couple of goals. <laughs> um, I say my highlight is just making my debut and breaking into the team that season, that was, that was good. And it's setting me up and it's given me the chance to obviously continue to progress as a player. So I think, uh, to be honest, I haven't had like great times here because the club hasn't really achieved anything really in the seasons, past seasons I've been here, but you know, who knows what can happen in the future. So, you know what I mean? I'm just happy to, to have signed my contract and Hopefully we can achieve more more things. Hopefully I can achieve more things and the club can achieve more things in the, in the years to come. Because when you first came in, when you first got into the team, you were 
a left back. Oh, the left back, yeah. The Kenny so. jacket. And I remember, because it was the Sheffield Wednesday game, wasn't it? You made your debut. Yeah. But it, I think it was the Watford away game on Boxing Day that you kind of really came to the fore. I remember you beating about three players and yeah. firing one in from 40 yards and the keeper pulled off a great save. And you thought, yeah, who's yeah. this kid? <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, that was, that was, that was a good, good, that was a good game. I enjoyed that game. I remember it quite clearly. Uh, we ended up winning that game 1-0 as well. It was, yeah. It was quite a crucial, crucial win because I think we just missed out on playoffs that year. I think. Yeah. But yeah, no, that was a good game, a good time. But um, yeah, I'm just looking, f- looking forward to the future because I feel as if I'm, I'm at a level now where I feel as if I'm ready to, 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 to step in and, and, and do my thing. And as part of this group, that it feels like the club is going places now. Yeah. How much has that played a part in, in you signing on for another three years? That I mean, when you look at it behind you now, there is work going on here at the training ground. This club is moving places. Yeah, no, I can obviously everyone can see this club's taking things seriously. So, um, I'd, yeah, I'm just delighted to be a part of it and to be here for another additional three years is it's good. You know, I can hopefully I can I can grow and and keep progressing. Um, with the club. So yeah, I'm just, I'm just happy. It's good times.